Okay, so this is going to be, be a video just covering the basics and some of the details on how to build an off-road lawnmower like this right here. Um, what this is started out as was a Craftsman LT1000. Um, it originally had a V-twin in it, Briggs V-twin, but I switched out to a single cylinder. Um, um, let's see here. Let's start with the transmission. Um, it's the original transmission. It's a Peerless MST-206, six-speed. Um, and this, these are great transmissions. It's oil-filled. It's really durable. Um, you can put these things through a lot of abuse, and they'll take it just fine. Um, it is locked, so it is posi. Um, so that really helps when you're going in the mud and stuff like that. It, you do you do lose some of your steering, but um, it's totally worth it to have the lock transaxle. Um, also, my rear tires are 22 inch tires. They are kind of scorpions, you can't really see it, but they're full of mud. Um, but they're two, just two ply tires, ATV tires mounted on the original rims with the original seat clip and everything on there. I might put a bolt on the end, but um, front tires are 16 inches. Pretty skinny. Um, I like my front tires skinny because they don't, um, they cut right through anything and they don't block off a bunch of mud and it makes it easier for the whole lawnmower to flow through the mud. And because they'll sink down to the bottom of the mud and grip and turn really easily. So that's the reason I like skinny front tires. Um, these are tires from an old tiller. Um, they're one inch inside diameter um, wheels and then I had to put bushings on there to switch it to three quarter inches and then I put a spindle extension mod um, with two bolts so I can adjust how easy it is to turn these wheels. Um, then front end is all original, it's just locked so it doesn't pivot because if you have something that pivots without shocks and you're on a hillside, the whole tractor is just going to start to lean. So you don't want that. Um, uh, I have a custom front bumper. Um, you can click right here to see where I made the front bumper. Um, it's basically just scrap steel that I had. Welded onto the frame right there. You can see it's welded on. I had a piece of pipe welded on from the bottom. And a steel bar welded on the top right there and it's pretty strong it does not flex at all which is good it's good for like pulling plenty out of the muck and stuff instead of the battery being inside underneath the console I switched it to right here just because um, I switched the gas tank there um, for a lot of reasons first of all because the new engine that I put in doesn't have a fuel pump so it has to use gravity to pull the fuel in because the gas tank used to be behind the seat um, but I have this ATV battery on here. It works just fine. A little cover. Um, I have a separate choke. Uh, my lawnmower already came with a separate choke. Um, it actually went right there, but a lot of lawnmowers don't come with separate chokes. They go right into the throttle, like right here. Um, I have a gas pedal on here that I made. Custom gas pedal. And it's not usually the uh, bike brake that a lot of people do, um, but it's just basically some scrap steel and spring and all that. And it goes around to the other side and hooks on to the throttle mech. And, and I have a quick release um, hood setting to where I can just... With two hands here, I'm kind of holding the camera, but I can just pull the hood off and set it down. It comes right off. Um, for a motor, I have a high performance IC Briggs and Stratton overhead valve, 16.5 horsepower. Um, this engine does great. I did a few uh, mods to the cylinder head, 
like I ported it, lapped the valves, um, milled the head, other stuff like that, just to get some more performance out of it. Um, everything else is just original. Exhaust, I have just straight piped, comes out there, goes all the way down underneath the fender. I had to cut the fender. And it goes to a bigger pipe. Then, just comes out the back. And that works pretty well. It's not too loud, but it's still pretty loud to where it sounds cool. And, yeah. My gas tank is just sitting there right now. I gotta figure out a better gas tank. Um, it's rewired with a push button ignition and toggle switch to kill it. Um, this is for the carb solenoid, this is for the ignition, these are for the headlights that I used to have on, but I need to put new ones on so they're not hooked up. Now we'll take a look underneath the tractor and this tractor has been pulley swapped so it goes faster. It goes about 17 miles per hour which is good for off-roading. That's the top speed in sixth gear. Uh, I have a tensioner pulley right here that basically just gives more tension to the belt. So when things get wet, it, the belt doesn't slip as much. Um, it's got some pretty good tension. I still have to increase the spring tension, but still improving things on this, and I always will be. Um, I have the double pulley clutch on here that really increases tension rather than just a one pulley clutch that most lawnmowers come stock with. And then I also have the stock front pulley and a bigger clutch spring. It's a lot stronger. And then I have a, a new rear pulley which used to be like a 10 inch, now it's a 3 inch. And it's almost a 1 to 1 ratio which is probably the best for off-roading. Because it's not too fast and you still get um, belt, belt tension so it's not going too fast and doesn't slip. Um, steering, original steering, nothing's changed besides the steering wheel, which is just an old steering wheel I got off a go kart, just painted flat black in the middle. Then I have a flange, like an exhaust flange, welded to that and then welded to the steering shaft. So this whole thing is actually removable. I can just take this bolt off, and the steering wheel will come off, and the steering shaft will be in there. Also, I made a trunk. In the back here out of just a garbage can it's just cut and screwed down to the bottom here and i have a lot of crap in here right now but i have a extra little muffler that i can sometimes just kind of put in there and it muffles it if i want it to be quiet i am eventually going to put like a a nipple right there then have a screw in muffler so it'll stay on there a lot better but um, this muffler is actually going to go in a different spot because it takes too much, too much room for like the important stuff is going to go back here. Like a lot of like spark plugs or wrenches that I might need, um, maybe a first aid kit, um, something like that. And then um, eventually I'm going to make an ATV rack on the back of this so I can carry some other stuff. Lots of other stuff like maybe a spare gas tank, a rope and all that.